Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be answering an interesting question about the red button that exists on most general aviation button, uh, planes, and that is the lovely master switch. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what's the deal with the master switch? Uh, somebody was asking me and uh, debating with me uh, quite a bit on this, and uh, you know, I've flown this plane, actually not this exact plane, Cessna 172, quite a bit in the real world, and I've actually experimented with this. But the master switch itself uh, basically does a couple different things. Uh, the first thing is it turns the alternator on and off, and it basically allows your battery to be connected to the rest of the bus of the airplane. Now you're probably sitting there going, uh, where are you going with this? Well, let me show you. So basically what happens is when I click this battery switch, you send electricity from the battery through all these circuit breakers into partially the avionics master, partially the lights and everything else on this aircraft. When you click on the alternator switch, uh, basically what you're doing is you're enabling the alternator to provide us with electricity. Now because we're an alternator and not a generator, you get electricity basically as long as the engine's running, which is kind of nice. Now what I want you to see here is if I pop the alternator off, notice the burn. I get a 30 amp drain on the battery because that is all the electronics and I get a little bolt warning right away. One of the cool things is you can pop off the avionics master switch and notice the aircraft is still running. You don't actually need avionics to run an airplane. And many of your instruments, with the exception of your DC instruments, such as this one, well, this is running off the battery right now, will also die. But you notice my um, drain as far as electricity has gone up significantly. Click both of those, you can see I dropped down to 35 amps. I click on the alternator again and it's like, oh, okay, well, we're now we're charging. You can actually see that we're showing a charge because this is not at zero. Now, the other half is people sit there going, well, what happens if you shut the battery switch off? Well, let's try it. Nothing. <laughs> the reason nothing happens is because the alternator is now the thing providing the electricity for the rest of the aircraft. Now, of course, you're sitting here going, okay, I know where you're going to go with this. You're going to push the alternator button. Oh, yeah. So to answer the person's question, uh, you can see that the propeller is still spinning very, very happily right now. As a matter of fact, I can start this engine without even needing it. And uh, we're actually going to set up a little experiment to kind of show off exactly what that looks like. All right, we've got ourselves a nice safe altitude and are ready to rock to test this experiment. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and shut off the battery and shut off the alternator, which of course will cause the aircraft, again, nothing wrong. Uh, my throttle still works. I can still speed up. I can still slow down. My mixture handle still works great. But that's not what our experiment is. Our experiment here is to test what happens with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the engine off. You can see my RPM drops down to nothing, but it doesn't actually completely drop down to nothing. It's actually presently windmilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the throttle. And again, this is with my battery switch off. I'm going to go ahead and dive, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the two magnetos on. And let's see if we can get enough RP uh, air moving through the propeller to actually get this thing to restart. Now, in a real plane, this would catch it pretty much right away. But unfortunately, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, as you can see, trying to force... There it goes! Ha <laughs> ha! It did it anyway. Wow, I almost uh, talked myself into a mistake there. You can see that even though the battery was not fired and on my battery, everything was completely dead, the windmilling action on the propeller actually was enough to restart combustion because again, as long as it's spinning, that magneto is still generating electricity to generate our spark. And you can see without everything else running, we can just go boop, boop, and uh, we can continue with our flight with no concerns. Now, of course, if you try this in a jet, things are going to be a little bit different. But at the very least, you can see that while the master switch is required to get us going, we can actually get going in a panic, as you almost saw. But we can also go ahead and um, still work the rest of the plane without that button. Enjoy.